Are you working on a research paper and trying to figure out how to write your introduction and your abstract? Or what are the differences between these two? In this video, I'm going to go through the three major differences between your introduction and your abstracts. Before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that you can get my checklist for how I write every single one of my scientific research papers if you go to scientificresearchpaperchecklist.com or click the link below if you're on YouTube. Now, let's get into the three major differences between your abstracts and your introductions. The first one is the purpose. So whenever you're writing a research paper, the purpose of your abstract is to summarize whatever you're going to cover in your research paper. If you remember like back to when you were younger and in school, when you had to read books or like the Shakespeare plays and you didn't really want to read them, so you just got the Cliff Notes or the Spark Notes version of them and then you could basically follow along in class and maybe answer questions about the major plot lines. Well, that's exactly what an abstract is. It is there to basically tell you what that paper is about and what their major findings were. And so if a person is trying to collect a bunch of papers, either for their own edification or for writing a review, they can very quickly just look at the abstract and tell if that paper is really going to fit well with what they're trying to write. So they don't waste their time writing a paper that's not even beneficial to the story they're trying to tell. On the other hand, when you're writing an introduction for a research paper, this has a completely different purpose. And its entire purpose is all about giving the reader the basic understanding they need to understand the research you're going to present in your paper. You're going to cover different things in your introduction than you would in your abstract. The second major difference is the length. So abstracts are generally actually highly regulated in how long they can be, especially if you're submitting it to a journal. The abstract tends to be between 200 and 400 words in length. On the other hand, your introduction is made to cover a lot more material, and so naturally it's going to be longer. Also, journals don't regulate the length of introductions near as much as they may regulate the length of an abstract. And so in your introduction, you want your length to generally be about a page and a half to two and a half pages. This is a really good length to make sure that you are concise in what you're trying to tell the reader, but giving them enough information in order for them to be able to understand what you're going to talk about in your research study. The third major difference between your introduction and your abstract is what you actually put into each of those content pieces. And so in your abstract, you want to basically summarize your entire paper. So you're going to cover the background knowledge, your methods, your results, discussion, and conclusion, just like how you would configure your paper to be. However, in your introduction, you don't want to cover all of those things. And instead, you want to focus on the three major things that your reader needs to know, which is why is your work important? What is the background knowledge they need to know to understand your work? And how has what you are studying been studied before? If you want a lot more in-depth information on that, you can check out the video above that I did just on research paper introductions. But you can see that in these introductions, they are much longer because they need to include more information and go into more detail. And so the purposes of your introduction versus your abstract are very different. This means that they have different lengths and they cover different things, but they are both very essential to your research paper. So if you are writing a research paper, make sure you check out my checklist on that goes through the step-by-step -step guide to how I write all of my research papers from the data to the the submission to the journal. Again, you can check that out at scientificresearchpaperchecklist.com or click the link below in the description. If you liked this content, please hit the like up button and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what are your techniques for writing your abstracts, or if you'd like to learn my techniques for writing my abstracts to make them more concise, but make sure that you have all of the details that you need to have in the abstract. Can't wait to see you in the next video.